But it all evens out in the end. Now, my next guest has done it the hard way again and again and again. His name is Junior Witter, 15 years a pro, 43 fights, 37 wins, and 22 of those coming inside the distance. He's won, he's won titles and held the British, European, and Commonwealth. And then, after a long, long, long wait, the WBC Light Welterweight Championship, he held that title for two years, made three defences and lost it on a split decision to Tim Bradley. Yes, the same Tim Bradley who, thanks to being on Amir Khan's shopping list, has somehow been transformed into a beast. Just one up from, or one down rather, from Sonny Liston. Bradley is a good fighter, but he's not the second coming of Aaron Pryor or Sugar Ray Leonard. Anyway, next Tuesday, the 7th at your call, Junior is part of Prize Fighter, the welterweights, the latest prize fighter, and Junior's journey is not yet over and it's a delight to welcome Junior back to the show. Good afternoon, Junior. Good afternoon. Now, Junior, last time we spoke, you were right. You were close to being in a fight with Amir Khan. What went wrong with that? It was it was nearly a done deal, wasn't it? Um, I was happy with it. They was happy with it, and Guy, as far as I know, wasn't. Ah, so we got the McCloskey fight instead with Paul McCloskey backtracking and running. Yeah. OK, well, listen, I think we might move on from that. Let's move to Prize Fighter. You, you, you're fighting Nathan Graham, uh, who's a nice enough little mover, few fights. The other guys in there are obviously Colin Lyons, who you know well. This guy, Yassine El Machi, Peter McDonough, and a couple of um, couple of fairly inexperienced guys. But it's Prize Fighter, Junior. Have you been ringside for a Prize Fighter yet? I have, yeah. So you, you know what you've got to do and what not to do, in theory. Not to lose. Yeah, not to not to lose. And you you've got to start fast, but not too fast. I mean, I think between the two of us, I think the rule books were thrown out the window when when prize fight was invented. Yeah, it's a completely different style of boxing. Hmm. You think you, you think you're okay for three threes? I mean, I know you know we know you're world class. You've been there. You've won world titles. You've lost in world title fights for ten years now. You've been an operator at the highest level. Do you think it's maybe harder for guys? Of, of your experience to adapt to prize fighter, or is it possibly, in your opinion, easier? It depends on your style and how you fight. Um, for some people, it's basically impossible because they start too slow. But I can start fast. Um, I'm sharp, I'm strong. I'm in the best shape I've been for years. Good. Because if you think, I mean, Gavin Reese, you know, won this tournament boxing brilliantly he had a really fast two minutes then floated away then the finish strong I mean he just won it fantastically with a wink as did Tony Oki two seasoned guys you think uh, uh, you know do you think you can learn from the way they did it you know just sorting those round the, 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 the three round fights down into really good first rounds decent seconds and good third rounds I mean are you planning that far ahead or are you just going to wait until the night I am we've got certain plans in process but mainly I do what I always do. I turn up and I beat the guy in front of me. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you might find that you love it over this, over the, you know, the three quick fights in one night. Might suit you down to the ground. <laughs> I like the idea because it means I get three fights. Yeah. And, and what happens, let's assume at about midnight on Tuesday at your call, um, you get crowned prize fighter champion, in addition to the cup and the money. What does Junior Witter do then? Junior Witter goes out and gets himself a title fight. You've been British. Oh, European or Commonwealth. Cause there's, uh, at welterweight, Junior. At welterweight. Yeah. I mean, Lee Purdy, who's, who's, I think, is having a rematch with Craig Watson. There's Matthew Hatton out there. There's Denton Vassell out there. I mean, there's there's, a, there's some decent domestic fights available. Yeah, there is. Hmm. And there's the new WBO Intercontinental Champion. Kelbrook? No... <laughs> <laughs> I'm never sure what we'll titles Kel. Kel. I'm, exactly, I'm never sure what titles Kel's got. He's fought for so uh, many of those old belts. Yeah, um, I don't think Kel's got a title at the minute. No, I, don't, I hope not. It'd be the only time he hasn't had one for about four years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean that nicely. It's just he's always got to be in a title fight. Well, listen, Junior. Thanks for joining us. Good luck on Tuesday, and I'll see you at ringside. I'd like to be there at ringside. The power is coming. Well, listen, let, let's hope it comes because the more entertaining the prize fighters are, the better the viewing figures. The better the viewing figures, the more chance there is of the winner going on to something big. You know the way that works. Yeah. Ju Junior, thanks very much for your time.